Edgar was a rescue dog found on the street, all alone with nothing to eat. He was burnt on his side and lost an eye. He was a sorry sight. We can't lie. He was adopted by humans and taken to the mountains. He was introduced to the mongoose cafe, which was close to the fountain. Mervyn Mongoose and Edgar the Mutter became firm friends, and Edgar learned to enjoy peanut butter. One bright morning, before the sun became too hot, Edgar left his house at a trot. Down the path towards the stream, he would stop at Melda Dante and their team. Morning, Mouse family, how are you? We are great, thanks, Edgar. Where are you off to? I'm on my way to the cafe to see Mervyn Mongoose, as I hear he has fresh apple juice. Would you like to join me this fine morning? Ah, Edgar, that sounds like a great idea. We don't like apple juice, but hope he has some chocolate mousse. And so the friends went on their way, singing a tune about a macaroon. At that moment, Bodie the baby baboon appeared, pointing a finger at Edgar with a sneer. Look, Papa baboon, he only has one eye. He looks funny and sly. Edgar looked down with a tear in his eye and strode away before he began to cry. Melda took his paw gently, and on they walked intently. Oh, Edgar, I know you are sad, but Bodie just doesn't understand. He doesn't realize that a disability isn't a good or bad thing. It's just a thing, and that's the upswing. Papa Chuck, my baboon, what's wrong with Edgar? Nothing is wrong with Edgar, my boy. He has a blind eye, so he can't see quite as well, which doesn't always bring him joy. He is normal like me and you. He runs, jumps, plays, and even likes chicken stew. Bodie, please remember, Edgar is just like us. To point a finger and say something hurtful is something we must discuss. Respect Edgar, he is no different than you. Your words are unkind and will not do. Please remember, my son, that if someone looks different or behaves differently from us, it does not make that person inferior or scarier. At the cafe, Bodhi went to chat with Edgar. I am so sorry for how I behaved. You were very brave. Please forgive me, Edgar. I shall never point fingers and be rude again. I now realize how hurtful I had been. Thank you, Bodhi. That means a lot. Now, how about we share my soda pop? So remember, children of the world, if someone looks different, speaks different, or behaves differently, it does not make them inferior. We are all special and unique and make this world cheerier.